Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle today with some nerdy puzzles. Time to get nerdy, guys. Made and designed by Cheat Free Puzzles, some Lego puzzles. I bought these a long time ago. Haven't had the chance to review them now, but today is the day. I'm gonna review at least one of these three. So I actually ordered, I think, only one or two. But let's see what's written here. Christian, thank you so much for purchasing our puzzles for your channel. Hopefully they make the international trip safely. I hope so too, yeah. We include two extras. Oh, okay. The imposter and locks box. Locks box. We can't wait to see the solves up on your YouTube channel. Thanks for helping the little guy. I think in the meanwhile, not that little anymore, huh? <laughs> Best regard, cheat three. Brad and Gina Rogers. And a quick note about the mag this box can be tricky things need to be lined up precisely for moves to work i think they also got a youtube channel i put you a link in the video description if you'd like to also check out their channel here shown of some of their portfolio i guess this was a long time ago i think in the meanwhile maybe their portfolio slightly changed so let's see what i got here inside this is the lego mac puzzle it's hopefully no solutions here. No. Let me see what how this looks like. Because on the picture it looks pretty awesome. Oh yes! Look at this. <laughs> Woo! This looks awesome. Man, this looks oh, it comes also with a keyboard and a mouse. Yeah, this is how it should be. <laughs> look at this. This is pretty cool. I like that. Let's also have a look at the second one. The imposter, I guess. No, what is this? Which one is this? I, I don't know even how this puzzle is called. And if you would like to see these other two puzzles here, let me know in the comments. Oh, this is actually not the imposter puzzle. <laughs> he didn't add the imposter puzzle, he did add the... Ah, this, this one I know, I've seen before. The vending machine puzzle. I see before, means on pictures. I don't watch puzzle videos myself, except I have solved them myself. That's it, okay. So if you would like to see these two puzzles, let me know in the comments and I will review them together in one review. But for today, today we will focus on the Mac puzzle because this is the one I actually intended to review. Caveman rule. Do not bang, hit, drop, jar or throw. Okay, makes sense. Brute force rule do not force movements when pieces are allowed to move they will move it's a good point guys when it comes to puzzling freely or with smooth resistance johnny five rules each puzzle has at most a single two piece that may separate from the box if you're using more than one separate piece as a tool then you are beginning to disassemble the puzzle no disassemble <laughs> also good point i will not touch anything Except this thing here. <laughs> Got the keyboard here. I think this probably has no use. But let's see. We're gonna find out later after the spoiler break, I would propose. And after the spoiler break, you're gonna see also my first attempt trying to solve the old Mac puzzle by Cheat 3 Puzzles. Okay, Woo, here we go, guys. Oh man, I, I don't even remember, remember when I purchased this puzzle a long time ago, definitely. And what was the target? Unlock the secret of the old Mac. Unlock the secret of the old Mac. Let's see where to start. Oh, this moved here slightly in, I think. I can slightly move this. Hmm. Can't find anything. So anything else? There's the thing here, which is kind of loose. Mm. Oh, there is something moving in here, I think. Maybe I can press something here with these, with the mouse. Something is definitely moving. I could, ah, okay, maybe, maybe this is intended to be pressed in like so. Oh, now it completely disappeared. Oh, here came something out in the rear. Uh, haven't seen that. <laughs> ah, okay. You see, I can move this. It's, it's a slider. And sliders are usually interacting with something else inside. But not this one. This one is still fixed. I can still move it in and out. 
if I need to no I don't think this is like that so oh yes it moves what happens in here right now and now what should I do next oh this one also moves can I use the mouse again maybe let me get it out again ah you see oh yes it moved this one is still fixed i think but this one definitely moved inside can i get this in again yes still works can also keep this out and take the mouse out what's going on do i need to push it out again here maybe more than Ah, it was not completely out. Oh, okay. Now it's now it's moving. Ah, and this one came out now. I will do the full solving process later to understand what's going on here because I think it's... Oh, this became loose now. Okay, but this is still stuck. I don't want to pull it out because I think this might be too early. Um, hmm. I can look here inside and I see this red piece. Oh, okay. This one want to push this one, but it's now blocked. But maybe I can move this one back here. Yes! <gasps> this one dropped. And now? Oh. Oh. <gasps> Oh, puzzle solved, I think. Huh? This was the uh, this was the uh, secret of the old Mac, and there is the secret is there is a guy inside with a notebook, managing to fulfill the tasks you want to, to fulfill. Oh, pieces drop, pieces disassemble, and this is the little secret here of this puzzle. So I think I solved it. <laughs> okay, was rather an easy one. Definitely, but um, I didn't expect this one to last too long. I mean, it's a made from Lego and that's small, so you have very limited possibilities, but still it's cool. I like the theme and this is the solve. This is the solving process. Okay, so first steps, according to what I saw, is I need to push this thing in here, which will push this thing here out to the rear. Then pull it as much out as you can. This made me struggle a bit i push in this button which will push out this thing over here and then very important push back in the button and then push you from the front with this one and when i do so this one will drop down and release this big slider here and then pull it out um from puzzling point of view i think the difficulty is not that hard i think it's a two out of maximum of five so let me know in the comments if you like this review if you like this puzzle is this something you're interested in in general or if this is maybe too easy would you like to see the other two puzzles all of this information just put down in the comments if you like this review thumbs up if you haven't and subscribe if you would like to see more in the future that's it for today until next time keep on puzzling